If trashing images could stop children from dying in rich man's wars, and you had a choice to either trash their image or do nothing, what would you do? This is the choice that I'm faced with. I wrote another paper that I'm distributing. It's headed, Faith Bible Chapel Tax Fraud Service. Proud supporters of John Hagee's Kufi organization and child killing abomination. On it, I have the IRS in the first picture. There's a little Star of Rim fan in there, which some people call the Star of David. And underneath that image, I have written IRS slash private collection agency for the synagogue of Satan. Next to that I have a picture of George Morrison who heads this Faith Bible Chapel in Arvada, Colorado. Next to that is a picture of John Hagee, founder of Kufi. Next to that is a picture of a three-year-old girl that was killed by the Israeli military. And I started passing these things out a few days ago, and they got some of them over at the Faith Bible Chapel and a bunch of areas around there, and I'm going to keep distributing these things for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. Maybe the Israeli military murderers that killed that three-year-old Palestinian girl think that Palestinians don't have any of Jacob Israel's blood in them. Or maybe those paid murderers just don't care about it, as long as they get paid. Know what I mean? Now let's take a look at ex-Marine George Morrison. George supports Haggy's Kufi business. And Haggy is all about killing Iranian children or any other child who might be a threat to the synagogue of Satan that they named Israel in 1948. You see, Kufi idolaters and whoremongers are socialized monsters who think they know real Jews from real Gentiles based on what they learned from false teachers. Ephesians 2, 10 and 11, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. When Paul said, ye being in time past Gentiles, he was telling it to saints of the spiritual conversion, not the concision. Romans 2, 28 and 29, for he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. Now let's consider the oath lie that some people swear so they can get paid to be proud U.S. Marines. James 5.12, But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea and your nay nay, lest you fall into condemnation. So how does a so-called pastor justify USA military with their oath and James 5.12 also? Answer, he doesn't. He's a money changer, tithe collecting fraud who don't know the truth in Christ, just like the hypocrites of old. Luke 20, verses 20 to 26, and they watched him and sent forth spies which should feign themselves just men that they might take hold of his words so that they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. And they asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly, neither acceptest thou the person of any, but teachest the way of God truly. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar, or no? But he perceived their craftiness, and said unto them, Why tempt ye me? Shew me a penny. Whose image and superscription hath it? 
They answered and said, Caesar's. And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things which be God's. And they could not take hold of his words before the people. And they marveled at his answer and held their peace. Maybe George would like to explain to the people he lies to for money how he took hold of Christ's words when others could not and explain how he claims a so-called non-profit status while others pay his income tax that his counterfeit government needs to stay in their prostitution business. So let's talk about George's counterfeit government some more so that people who do pay income tax can understand why the money they work for is given away to Obama's criminal associates in other countries so easily. Many taxpayers in the U.S. of A. who don't have health insurance, for example, have worked to pay their drug lord government money to send to Afghanistan to protect Obama's poppy heroin business. And that's the only reason why Hagee and Morrison's version of Israel is the second highest paid welfare recipient in their filthy beggar money laundering business. Moreover, Obama is okay with USA hookers being hooked on heroin so they can put out better for the money they spend on it. And if they get busted for hooking, then real taxpayers can pay for the hookers' food and shelter in jail. It's a win-lose situation for self-damning law perverts who are in the USA drug and prostitution business. Now, according to Romans 13, which Morrison obviously don't agree with, the real powers that be are the real ministers of God. Therefore, we don't accept other people's so-called non-profit money laundering status. Romans 13 verses 1 to 6, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God, a revenger, to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute also. For they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Paul was referring to the saints who judge the world, not two-house, double-minded, deadbeat hypocrites. 1 Corinthians 6.1 Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? Jude 1, verses 14 and 15. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. When the saints get done destroying Judaism, Judeo-Christianity, Islam, and all their spin-off cults, there won't be any place left for their partial law rulers to rob the poor from. Luke 21, verses 20 to 22. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them that which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Jeremiah 9.11 
And I will make Jerusalem heaps and a den of dragons, and I will make the cities of Judah desolate without an inhabitant. There is nothing holy about old Jerusalem that killed the Prince of Life, who was raised the third day and lives in me. Now stop collecting those money changer tithes, George. We wouldn't want you laundering dirty money through law transgressing IRS heathen and give your ill-gotten gains to the poor. You know what happens if you resist the ordinance of God through a real minister, right? It's explained in Romans 13. You've been warned. And then it's signed St. Michael. So, as I say, this is my choice. Whether to trash someone's image in order to help keep children from getting murdered in rich man's wars or just not say anything and I choose to say something and I was led to talk about these things today thank you